night going in a pickup truck this shall be not too fun You gotta watch out for these damn branches. And I gotta put my waterproof case for my phone and hopefully we can get some footage because it's gonna be dark in the cave and all we're gonna have is a candle. And we put our stuff in this green bin and they're gonna lock it. This is our tour guide. What's your name again? Daniel. Daniel. All right. Okay guys, listen, welcome to the cave. This cave is called the Kamba Cave, and we're gonna stay here inside for 44 minutes or one hour. So this candle is for that time. Please don't put a candle like this or like this. Just put it all the way like this. Also, there's a rope. You can guys hold the rope like this, put it on your shoulder, put a candle like this, then just follow the rope. But if I scream to you, watch your feet, that means big rock front of you. So the best choice to do, Put your feet like this and you will be safe. Also, if I scream to you, watch your head or watch your back, it's just because we're gonna get in a small place or you have a big rock on you. Animals living here inside, fish, crab, shrimp, catfish, and bats. In total, this cave is 11 kilometers, but with the tour, we're just gonna split one. We enter in one way and we're gonna come back in the same way. Please don't separate and also, uh, the time of picture is right now. If you guys want to grab pictures, just give me a phone or something like that. Okay, again. Three, two, one. There we go. Watch your head. Watch your head. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh my god. So we 
have to climb this ladder. As you can see, the ladder. And you have to bend and watch your head and back. Can you guys see the sunlight? I thought there was more people behind us. Yes, we're alive. Watch your head. Watch your feet, watch your head, watch your back. We guys well that was quite the adventure in that cave um there were some points i was scared as hell <laughs> especially when you went in the little hole and you drop into the water and it pushes you back up everything happens so quick he's just like okay here you're gonna go in go go so you don't even have time to kind of react but it was fun all in all now we're going to the uh, waterfall i think If you guys wanna do this, you have to stand here first, pass this thing behind you like this, like me. Then you have to sit on here, then put your hands here on the top. Don't put it here, because you can fall, you know? Hands here. When you guys be ready, please put your feet up like this. You guys gonna pass it in the middle. When you get there in the higher point, I will swim to your jump. So that means, slide your bomb and then let go. Please don't do this, like this. Why? Because that's gonna be hurt. That's gonna be a belly, you know? We'll do it first. Look at me. Sit here. Hands here. Sit up. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'll go. Yeah. It's already recording. It's already? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing because I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I tell you one thing, when I fell, <laughs> I thought I was going to drown because it hit so hard. The impact was so hard on my chest and on my face that I almost just felt like I had blacked out and I was like floating like oh my god is this it I remember telling myself in my mind but I was like get up get up whatever you do get up just get up My 
my guy be going on all this shit. He went all the way in there somewhere. Oh, he's climbing even higher. I think he's gonna jump from up here. Real life Tarzan here in Guatemala. Guess we're going river tubing now. <laughs> no, thank you. Yo, they hustling. <laughs> May I go in the beer? No, thank you. Gracias. I'm trailing behind because <laughs> I'm like, like, I feel like I'm walking barefoot. It don't even feel like these are water shoes. Everybody's way ahead. But that's all right. I'm going to get there. All right. Hi. Lunchtime. Get right. Just a trip We're here at the natural pools at Shamut Tempe and I met this guy. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Uh, Herman. And he said he drove 14, almost 16 hours. 16 hours from San Pedro Soloma to uh, Shamut Tempe, but it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It feels good. I'd say the weather's cold, but no, it's, no, it's like warm. Yeah. It's yeah. Warm. yeah. So you gotta come if you're ever in Guatemala. If he <laughs> if he took 14, 16 hours, 16 hours you can do it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go in, guys. Oh. Whew. It is really deep, guys. So you gotta stay afloat, but it's amazing. So if you can hear me, it's pretty deep over there. You can't touch the ground, but right here you can touch the floor. Look at this fish. All right, guys, he said we're gonna go swimming down to the other pools. So let's go. These are the other pools. Wow. 
Wow, you gotta watch it here. Oh, he about to slide her down. Oh, shit. So apparently this is a cave. You can go in this way and then you get out over there. I don't know if we should do it, but... We might as well try. All right, guys. I was waiting yeah, one by one. <laughs> you coming? <Yeah. laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, I need to go out now. <laughs> you getting claustrophobic? Okay. Go under. Face up on this way. No, no, don't, don't get under. Just put a face up. Yes, like that. You got it. Now just swing for three seconds to the other direction where the light is. Under the water. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Made it out alive. I guess these are, this is how girls walk when they're leaving the club in their heels. Cause that's how I feel like I can't even fucking walk. All these damn pebbles. But anyway, it was a great day. Some champagne. And hopefully you guys will stay tuned cause there's more to come from Guatemala. So, peace.